Hi, this is Jack Downs. I'm going to do a little screencast for you on this Intro to Audacity project. Um, I suggest that you watch this, pause it as you go, rewatch it um, as you're doing the exercise. Here's a list of some of the things I hope we'll cover. We'll probably get to them all in about 15 minutes. So here we go. First of all, I've already made my folders as described and as you've practiced, taken that project folder, copied it over. I've went, gone and gotten two files from Moodle and downloaded them. And here's what that looks like at this point. I'm in my 240 folder. I've made two little project folders, music edit and voice edit. Inside each one, inside the originals, is a single wave file that I've downloaded from Moodle for this project. So here I am with my uh, Audacity open. Should be almost identical to the one in the classroom and probably the same thing that you would download and have on your computer. This version of Audacity 2.2.1, I believe. So how do we get stuff in here? I could drop it from a, from a My Computer window. Or I could just go File, Import, Audio. Um, and I may have to move around, find the right place. I wasn't in the right place. I'm a music edit, originals. Here I go. And it's going to open. And this is going to take a moment. And I'm back again. The open takes a little while. Other thing that it takes a long time, the first time you do a save in Audacity. Now, I'm not going to do one because of that, but I want you to do one. I want you to go ahead and save your project file. It's under here. The first save is like a save project or save project as, just do save project. And go, go stick it in your working folder. And you can keep the name, but it's going to be an AUP file. And it's going to take a while for that save to happen. But I'm going to skip that and move right ahead. Okay, your instructions say this file, what I want you to do is to, to um, turn it, what's already a very long file. It's about, if we look over here, we see it's through almost three and a half minutes. 3.30 is the, on the, uh, the timer there. I want you to make it one minute plus or minus five seconds. Well, how could you do that? First of all, I could, I'm gonna do make selections in here as I'm doing now, just by dragging with my cursor. I'm gonna make selections. I could make a selection of the stuff I want to keep and then delete the rest. I think at this point, the, what would make the most sense for you is to select the stuff you want to delete. So how are you gonna do that? Well, you can look at them. You could take the first minute, the last minute, you could take a minute from the middle. You could delete chunks here and there as you go. I think the easiest thing is going to be to select from about one minute out to the end and just hit the delete key. There, we have one minute left. How do I really know we have a minute? Well, I can see it on the toolbar. I can select and go down here to the, make sure I have start and length of selection. And I can see it's practically exactly a minute down here. But maybe I want to do it the other way. What would that be? I'm going to do control Z. You always have control Z's in this program. I could say instead, I'm going to select the minute I want. Let's say I want one in the middle. I'm going to select a minute in the middle. I'm watching my, my selection down there, near the, near the bottom down here. And that is now a minute and eh, just slightly over a minute. It's almost exactly a minute. Well, I could delete the rest. Okay. How would I do that? I can do a, a trim. I can get to trim either through, right here it is. This little button here, Trim Audio Outside Selection, which is Control T, which is the same thing as Edit, Clip, Remove Special, Trim. And so it's going to delete the rest. One thing is, if you do that, you have to be able to move this guy down to the beginning of the timeline, which you don't know how to do quite yet, so we'll skip that for now. But I'm going to go back to where I was with Control Z, the idea of selecting the stuff I don't want from whichever end I'm going to grab it and hit the delete key, which is the same thing as control X, um, which is a cut. So there I did it. Okay, good. Am I all set? Am I done? No, I'm not. Well, I want to fade. First of all, I want to zoom in some more. Now my project is much smaller. If I say fit project in window, which is this magnifying glass, there I am. I zoomed the whole thing. I want to fade in one to three seconds, as your instructions say, at the beginning, and fade out one to three seconds at the end. How can I find one to three seconds and be sure? Well, that makes most sense for me to grab a chunk there, five or ten seconds at the beginning, and to zoom into that with this tool here, Fit Selection in Window. There it is. Now I can see I have, I can easily choose two seconds, one and a half seconds, right there, that's one second, 
of selection. Um, I could delete this tip here, this dead air with a delete key, and that'd be right up at the front. I could start right there. I could go to about there, which is about 1.8, something like that. I say one to three seconds. And then under effect, choose fade in. And then I could use my scroll bar and go down the other end, but why do that? Why don't I just zoom back out, fit the whole project, go down to the end, grab a chunk, I'm going to grab that chunk there, and I'm going to zoom in to that selection. There I am. I'm seeing the very end. See, right now, this would end like this. I'll play it. Just like end suddenly. I don't want to end that suddenly. I want to grab that stuff. I'm watching my selection down below and the numbers down, down near the bottom of the toolbar. I'm about one and uh, I'll go to about two minutes, which would be about right there, about two minutes. I say one to three minutes. One to three seconds. Two seconds. One to three seconds. Seconds. Okay, and I'm going to go to effect. And I'm going to do fade out. And there it is. And now the fade is going to sound like this. I'll play it from here out. Play button. This is the transport toolbar. We find play. Go to the front. Go to the back. Pause, which you don't look. Uh, stop, which we use regularly. And pause, which we have to be careful with. Pause can cause problems. <laughs> Fades out nice and smoothly over one to three seconds. Great. Hit the stop button in case it wasn't stopped. Um, and now I'm going to zoom the whole thing in. Fit the project window. The whole thing. This is where I would save my project again. I'm not going to myself here for you on the screen. This is also where you go file, export. Export is MP3. And I'd have to now navigate not to. Well, actually, I'm actually going into grading right now. Isn't that nice? Huh. Not sure how that happened, but you want to go into the grading folder and you want to give it a particular name. Um, oh, I think I already have one there. That's the problem. Um, and uh, the name is in your instructions, your name, and then probably music edit. I'm not going to do this. So you can leave these all the same because it takes a little while. I'm just going to pretend I've exported it. And then I exported file, the MP3, is the one you put up on Moodle. So let's cancel that now. I'm actually going to close this, that, that clip up. I'm going to go get a new clip. I can go File. Import audio. Here we are. And now I'm not in my originals and music edit anymore. And I'm going to voice edit originals. I'll open this guy up. What is this? Let's listen to it for just a moment. From the city of Plattsburgh, 4th of July parade for audio video productions. I'm John Burgess. Okay. So it's a voice file, and you can see how different it looks. This is a voice recording. This is what voice recording looks like. There's lots of pauses and variations in volume and so on. Well, what will we do to this? We're going to do some different things. I'm going to hit the delete key here, get rid of my tip and tail, to call this. Deleting the tip and tail, which is the, um, the little the dead air at the beginning and end, which we typically have in voice recordings. Good. Your instructions say your key thing you're going to do here is get rid of the words for audio productions. Well, let me show you a way. Where, where are they? We could listen to the whole thing, or I could use the one key. One plays one second, inter one second chunks around my cursor. So I put my cursor here. I mean, I'm not I have to click in. I can just, um, I can just uh, go ahead and uh, hover. July parade for parade for audio parade for audio video. So the four is starting right about in there. Four on for audio video, video productions. Productions ends is about here, right? Productions. I'm John. Right here starts. I'm John Burgess. So it's going to be something in this range here that's going to have an information. Let's go ahead and I'll just play that chunk for audio video productions. That's good, but you know what? It's a little bit. I'm a little bit tight there. I'm not sure. I got to be positive, right? So I'm going to zoom in to get a better view. I'm going to select around that area. I like to get in closer. Now here we are. So I think it's going to be starting right around here. I'm going to make a new selection. Okay, good. From around here to around maybe around there. Let's listen to that now. I'm going to play for audio video productions. Um. Okay, for audio video productions. Okay, but I went too far. For audio video productions. Let's try that. Is that right? Play. For audio video productions. That could be it. Well, here's something I can do. I can also do a cut preview. That's what the, 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 the shortcut is C, C for cut. And that will play the file as if the stuff I've selected is not included. So it's a cut preview. Let's try that. 
City of Plattsburgh, 4th of July Parade. I'm John Bird. That sounds pretty good to me. So the cut preview is a powerful tool, but I decided that my cut preview was good. Maybe it wouldn't be. I'd have to do it over and over again, get it just right. Hit the delete key, that stuff goes away. Now I would listen to the whole file again. I'm going to put the whole project in, and um, I could listen. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to now hit play. From the city of Plattsburgh, 4th of July Parade, I'm John Burgess. Mm. One thing I forgot to do, I'll do a control Z, put that stuff back in. One thing I forgot to do is, before I do my cut, I think I'd like to do a find zero crossings, change my selection slightly to at zero crossings. What this does is it changes the selection very slightly just so that the two sides of the waveform will match up on my cut at zero crossings. You probably would almost see no change. Maybe not, maybe not hear any change, but it's worthwhile learning to do that little technique. Um, I hit the delete key, and now I'm gonna, I would listen to the whole thing again, assume that I had, if I didn't have it right, I would do it again and again and again until I got it right. Um, little things can happen in cuts, and if any, you always listen to it, and if it isn't quite what you want, just try it again. Maybe you're too close to a word. Maybe there's something else you need to fix. Just do it over again. Um, so we have done um, find zero crossings, fade in and out. We haven't done normalization. Before I export this guy, I should be saving my project as I go. Remember, I'm not doing this in this demo, but you save your project. Save it into working. Um, I'm going to do a um, normalize. Normalize. I'll select everything I want to normalize, which in this case is the entire file. And I do I can do that by double clicking inside of it, or I can do control A. Either way. Normalize takes the stuff you have selected and brings it up in amplitude to close to the top. You see this file does not fully fill the clip area. That's good. Effect normalize. I think having all these checked on is fine, and minus one is the normal level to be normalized to. We didn't have to normalize with the music because it was already fully filling the area, right? But with voice, we typically have, we want to bring it up as big as it can get all together. There's still some lower spots and some bigger, some smaller spots and some bigger spots, and high amplitude and low amplitude. So I'll say OK. And that you saw there, it did bring it up a little bit. So now the waveform is a little bigger, a little meatier, a little bit, a um, little bit higher volume. So I did show you number one, how we can do a number one around, the city of and it plays one second so around our cursor. Up. I did show you the C, the cut preview. The other one I could show you is B. B from would be from this, would play from the from this from the beginning to your cursor, yes. or, or from the from your cursor to the end if you're on that side, or if you have your selection someplace, it could play With from the, your. You're, sorry, if you clicked your cursor in some place, you play from your, your hovering cursor or to the, that spot or from that spot July, to your hovering July, cursor. July. So you're trying to find spots, move it a little bit. July. So July B parade. is another another one. Another one I haven't told you about is the um, uh, space bar. Um, I can use space bar. I'm going to click it all the way back to stop and start. From the city of... From the city of... I'm just using my space bar there. Or I'll put my cursor someplace else and say space bar. Clip July. Clip July. So I can use my space bar. Click it once to play. Click it a second time to stop. Uh, one more click, quick thing. By the way, if you ever find that the, the commands, the menu, the toolbars, and everything stop working in Audacity, no, the program's probably not frozen. Probably you are paused. Pause can do that under some circumstances, which is why we always look to see, is it paused? Well, all we have to do is stop instead. And then the, then the program will, will act properly. Um, I think that's about it. Now you would save your project again, probably, and then export, as we showed before. File, export, MP3. We're always exporting MP3s. That's the one you would put in grading, uh, not in the music folder, but in this case would be the voice folder, and it wouldn't be called music. That's kind of messed up. Um, so you're going you're gonna, to um, go ahead and uh, file export and look in your instructions for the name that you should use and so on. Um, that's it for the demo. And keep on practicing and with these files.